if Netflix walks up to Queen Awake and they're like, hey, want to share your, you know, personal beliefs about why Zendaya is a man? We've got the shaped like a V. We've got these really, really, really long arms and really big. These are just a few of the opposite gender markers. Into a documentary titled Mandaya. Mandaya. Do -do. This Gender individual has male skeletal, skeletal markers. markers. Or, or, Netflix walks up to Mario. They're like, hey, want to share your speculations into a documentary about why the sun is fake? The sun makes no sense. The sun is a social construct. They're, They're lying, lying to you. That would be dumb. A documentary. They, Netflix would not. They wouldn't do it. But they did. Jada Smith did. She made a documentary about Cleopatra that you guys have been asking me to talk about in the exact same way that Queen Awake is not a biologist. A biological male or a biological f And Mario is not an astrologist. The sun Or a scientist. Jada Smith is not a historian. So, who's- what, what is this documentary gonna teach me? Who are the experts? Don't worry. Okay, calm down. Don't yell. There's experts in this documentary, like this woman's grandmother. I remember my grandmother saying to me, I don't care what they tell you in school. I don't care what they taught you at school. A, a fantastic, a fantastic line to have in a documentary. I don't care what they taught you in school. The sun is <laughs> fake. They're, They're lying, lying to you. I don't care what they taught you in school. Body, Body types, types don't, don't exist, exist. Zendaya, Zendaya is a man. man. I don't care what they taught you in school, but my I grandmother know. said... Okay, this lady's 2,000-year-old grandmother was on first-name terms with Cleo, her best bud. If only my dad was around, I would have told you all about Alexander the Great. Alex, he calls him. Bros. Alex is his bro. Interestingly, although I must say, unsurprisingly, this American production by Jada Smith about Egyptian history is so focused on Cleopatra's race. The similar skin color. Cleopatra was black. Curly hair like me. Which is interesting, I say, because that's so anachronistic of the era of Cleopatra. You know, if you're making a historical documentary about a figure, your documentary's probably gonna talk about their accomplishments and achievements. Would you tell me whether they had red hair or blue eyes or the color of their skin? Chances are you wouldn't, because that would be you making a documentary in a modern socio-political context. In fact, the director, Tina, behind Queen Cleopatra literally called the casting choice a political act, which is interesting to be making a political statement at the expense of another nation's culture or history. The point is, this work does not really cover Cleopatra in a historical context, but a socio-political one, which is what Jada Smith is doing in her series African Queens. Is that a bad thing? No. African Queens is a great idea. It is the intention to highlight important black women figures in history. That's great. It's empowering. It stops being empowering when you manipulate history to kind of fit what you want it to be. In fact, she says, we don't often get to see or hear stories about black queens, and that was really important for me, as well as for my daughter, and just for my community to be able to know those stories because there are tons of them. Tons, yeah, that apparently you don't know about. Like Amina, the warrior queen of Zarya, Asantiwa of the Ashanti Empire, or Nandi of the Zulu Kingdom. There's plenty. Cleopatra is not one of them. And to make a documentary altering somebody else's history, she wants to recreate the true story of Queen Cleopatra, narrated by herself, Pinkett Smith, because she wants to find a story to inspire her daughter. Her baby girl, Willow. So I'm gonna distort an entire nation's heritage and not care about what they're gonna think because all that matters is my baby girl, Willow. How out of touch can one be? And in the same way, making a documentary about the sun being fake is also wrong. It's untrue. And just because somebody's grandma said it was, doesn't make it true. I don't care. And it would be cultural appropriation to take someone else's history and frame it in a way to fit your modern socio-political intentions. And it's so funny how nitpicky this documentary trailer was. People choosing which truths they want to believe. Just like how all the conspiracy theorists are that we've talked about on this channel. It's possible that she was an Egyptian. It is a possibility that she is Egyptian. She's a Macedonian Greek imperialistic ruler of Egypt. That's what she is. There's a possibility she was deaf. There's a possibility she was from outer space. 
I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna look at, at all the historical evidence from her era. I'm just gonna like ignore. What did Grandma say? What did Grandma say? I'm just gonna ignore the, the humongous pile of historical evidence that leads us to believe one way, and just, just try and like see it the way I want to see it. But why? But why? There's plenty of people you could have talked about. Plenty of even more interesting stories that we could have covered, things we don't already know, you know? But no. Let's culturally appropriate somebody else's history. Cleopatra is a Macedonian Greek. She's part of the Ptolemaic dynasty. Her father was a Ptolemy. Her name is Greek. Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Glory of her father. The last ruler of this dynasty, and maybe the only one that bothered even learn the Egyptian language the language of the people she ruled over. It was an imperialistic, Hellenistic rule of Egypt. I imagine reaching the conclusion she was probably an Egyptian from she bothered learn Egyptian. It's possible that she was an Egyptian. As an imperialistic Greek ruler. You know, even then, why couldn't you just cast an Egyptian for your so-called documentary? Possibility is not fact. Why are we treating it as such? Let's just disregard everything we know because Jada Smith wants to make it so- You're thinking, Reba, who the- who cares? Who cares? Why is it okay for Cleopatra to be that way in this production and this way in that production, but not in this one? None of those were accurate. None of those were right. There's a difference though. Only one of them claims to be the, the absolute, absolute truth. truth. This so-called documentary. The rest are just works of fiction. I don't care who plays who in a work of fiction. Nobody should. An actor is doing their job, they're acting in a work of fiction. It's not a drama. And so, I saw this one TikTok. He just couldn't understand why people were mad, right? I'm getting real tired of making the same video every single time a movie comes out because y'all are so obsessed with race. Like, why are y'all so obsessed? Like, what, what is the issue? Well, nobody's really obsessed with race. The documentary is, though, the documentary that was about her race for some reason. Oh, they casted a black woman, and that is historically inaccurate because actually Cleopatra was Macedonian. You know what else is historically inaccurate? Pretty much every single historical fiction ever created. Correct. But this is not advertised as a fiction. And it really wouldn't matter. I'm telling you, it, it, it absolutely doesn't not matter if this was the casting for just another fiction. Because it's a TV show. No, it's a documentary. A, a documentary is literally the meaning of historically accurate, you know? If you want real authentic historical information, then go read a textbook or go read a peer-reviewed source. Or look at a documentary. When did documentary and drama and fiction become synonymous? When were those genres the same? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like what, like, what is the problem? This is a movie for entertainment purposes. Oh, what are you talking about? No, it's not. It says, it's like the word, a Netflix documentary is plastered right behind you. It's not trying to entertain you, it's trying to inform, okay? And there's an issue with that. Imagine you are an Egyptian. Right? You are watching something about your own history as an Egyptian or a Greek. You see it so misrepresented. I don't know what's the obsession with our skin color. There are Nubian Egyptians. They look like that. Egyptians come in all skin. Faking history and stealing someone's identity. This is how ancient Egyptians were represented. Like, is this a hairstyle that they would wear? And I'm Shfahma. Nubian. Nubians. Nubian queens. Okay, maybe you should talk about that. Ancient Egyptian. That won't feel very right. That's first of all. Second of all, imagine if somebody knows nothing about Egypt. Okay, they open up Netflix one day, they find this documentary, and they decide to, you know, consume it the way a documentary is meant to be consumed. Not for entertainment, but to inform. So they learn. They learn a lot about Cleopatra. They learn a variation of what Jada Smith thinks Cleopatra is, who she is, what Egyptian history is. And they decide, what a fascinating story! I want to go see it for myself in Egypt. They head over to Egypt, and they find that there is a mismatch between what Egypt and history actually says, and what that Netflix documentary taught me. You'd think, okay, the rational person would say, maybe the documentary was broken this is what they don't want well where's my ancestors nose at like why why they why they be doing this to us like and y'all gonna have to do better with y'all replacement and you have the audacity to put this trash up that is not a black system <coughs> yeah, people from every background were confused <coughs> but what ends up actually happening what is actually happening is you've got egyptians actually fighting for their right 
to their own history. I'm defending my country, I'm defending my people, I'm defending my history. You've got Egyptians trying to convince people that Egyptian history is theirs because now they're being treated as some kind of colonizer of somebody else's history, Jada's history. Make it make sense! It's the epitome of stealing someone's history and culture appropriation. That's what this is. Like, it's just not that serious. It's not that deep. Until you're Egyptian and you have to convince people that, that your history is actually, you know, your own. I'm sorry, who are you? Who's your grandmother? Whose place is it to decide these? I remember my grandmother. That's what misrepresentation does. It breeds these ideas in some people's minds. And it is kind of serious. It is kind of serious. What is this? Queen Cleopatra follows the story of Cleopatra, one of the world's most famous and misunderstood woman. Never mind the grammatical error, but clearly misunderstood. This is not representation. It's, it's misinformation. That's what it is. And just because the intention behind it was good, empowering people, doesn't mean it was gonna do good. That's not what I meant. Doesn't matter, okay? You've caused damage with it. Is this what you want to tell your black children? They can do anything as long as a white person did it first? Africa's not a country. Jada. It's a humongous continent, full of history and different people. And if you want to empower the way you intend, there's a lot of stories in Africa. Representation is showing things as they are. That means telling black stories. There were actual black queens that we could make movies about, but here we are. Not that of the Macedonian Greek imperialistic ruler of Egypt, though. Great achievements, beautiful, fascinating story, but it's not the kind of empowering story you'd want, okay? And it's definitely not right to mess with somebody else's history. It's not yours. Who are you and who's your grandma, please? The only way that it would be historically accurate is if they casted a full-blooded Macedonian individual. No, it would be all right if they casted a Greek. You know, her being Greek. I mean, it wouldn't be an issue if they casted an Egyptian. It's their history. Let them have that representation if they wanted it. They didn't even ask for it. He does make a certain point. He says, And you know what else is crazy? I can bet my soul that 99% of the people on this cast are also not descended of ancient Romans. So that's also historically inaccurate. But of course nobody's talking about that because y'all are obsessed with the race for no reason. Get a hobby. Good point. Are the dudes cast for this actually Roman? Are they actually Greek? I see what you're saying, but nobody made a documentary about their race. This whole documentary revolves around her race. Cleopatra was black. Why is he so quick to say everybody else is obsessed with race when the documentary itself is? You know, that's what I'm curious about. They should have just casted an Egyptian for the role or a Greek, you know? If you wanted a documentary, just make one, you know? What's annoying is it's so inaccurate. The Egyptian head of antiquities had something to say about it. He was pissed about it, you know? A misrepresentation of his own history. As he should, you know? If it was your history, you wouldn't want it to be misrepresented either. An Egyptian lawyer actually sued Netflix for creating this. You know, the real blame here lies on Netflix. They are the massive production company that signed off on that so-called documentary. It's funny though, because IMDB literally couldn't even call it a documentary. They said a fictional account of what the life of Cleopatra was imagined to have been like if she was a black woman. A fictional account, it states, right underneath the tag documentary. How do you define documentary, IMDB? How does Netflix define it? Because according to Jada, she defines it as the true story of Queen Cleopatra. Netflix is powerful, okay? It has this force. It creates ripple effects, okay? It makes people change their minds about things, gives people ideas, changes people's ideas. And now we're at a place where Egyptians are fighting for their right to their own history. Egyptians are being attacked. A lot of Egyptians are being harassed daily in schools and universities just because they are represented as Egyptians. They're being called colonizers of their own land, of their own nation, and their own history. The Egyptian history was always Egyptian. All the while, their own history is being taken and used for somebody else's modern socio-political agenda. Which brings us to the point of the American hegemony and dominance in the media, where we only really consider in these productions the American audience. For instance, you've got Jada talking about how empowering her work would be for someone like her daughter, Willow. Do you think she sat and thought about how Egyptians were to perceive this work? No, because instead of actually thinking about the rest of the world and about what this work would mean, 
mean to Egyptians and Greeks, and Africans whose heroic stories remain untold. In response to the criticisms on the so-called documentary, Tina, the director, said, We need to have a conversation with ourselves about our colorism and the internalized white supremacy that Hollywood has indoctrinated us with. Yes, that is an important conversation that we must have, but there is another conversation that we ought to have more related to this particular documentary. It's more about the responsibilities that come with being the largest producers of consumed media around the world. And you know those responsibilities were ignored when Hollywood was behind propagating a lot of the harmful stereotypes about cultures all over the world. Productions are always viewed from a very narrow perspective of the world, a very narrow lens. And now that lens, Jada's lens, is taking other people's cultures and histories to have her own American political conversation about race. Alright, first things first, learn how to spell. And second, um, if I'm not Egyptian and I'm just white, why do I get called the terrorist? Why do I get called the dirty arrow? You know, the solutions to the American sociopolitical problems that Jada is trying to highlight should not come at the expense of distorting another nation's heritage and history. Jada, though, she has a, a valiant intention of empowering by talking about black queens using a queen that was Macedonian Greek. So what message is Jada really sending by doing this? When there are plenty of wonderful and fascinating stories of all the African queens I've mentioned before that you've probably never heard about. And please, please, if you intend to talk about those people, bring actual experts or people who can tell these stories. You know, we could definitely use a documentary about those ladies. A documentary, not a work of fiction, not a drama, something historically accurate, you know, aiming to inform. Just reminding you what that means, because when a documentary misinforms, what do we call it? We call it a joke. What are your thoughts? Apparently, this documentary is a subject of, you know, pretty big debate. There's a debate here. There's with and against, which I think is ridiculous, because when something is wrong, it's just wrong, you know? Can it be a little bit right? No. The sun is fake. Are we about to debate? I'm not gonna debate whether the sun is fake or not. Or maybe we should discuss the heavily debated topic of the existence of gravity. When something is, we're not gonna argue if it isn't, okay? What is there to argue? We can argue whether it's deep or not. Is it that deep? That's what we can argue, you know? Is it that deep? If it misinforms, well, yeah, apparently the people whose history this is are now under fire, almost as though they've been pretending it's their history all along. I'm sorry, whose place is that to decide? Like, that's insane to me, you know? And for people to argue about it, it's like, whoa, you should, like, look at the bigger picture, at least. Or you should be considerate enough to understand the effects of cultural appropriation. Or maybe, you know, step a little bit outside of your bubble. The world is bigger than what you think it is. That's what I think. That's my opinion. What's yours? Hmm? Hmm. Share it down below. Let me know. Down below. Sometimes I, I write poetry. Like this.